I will now continue with this is the first iteration, second iteration the parts seem to you know something seems to stick out at fit. When we put everything inside uh, I have shown you that uh, power supply about the heat sinks. Now, if I were to take this small power supply and want to do something about it slowly there is no place any more place for it. Now, where do I put a printed circuit board in it? So, the transformer is to be smaller and one of the way of making a transformer smaller is to work at a higher frequency or a little more uh, efficient uh, what do you call gauss we use for the <coughs> packing and then uh, we can maybe make it a little bigger. So, it turns out to be a very iterative experience at least three attempts are needed to make it work do not give up early unlike software which of course, software people also life is not easy for them releasing every new version and every new build is not easy because you have to build on existing things. So, the moment you add something things go may go over haywire they have worked very well with the older system new systems we we have to unless we try we cannot uh, do it. So, do not give up a stage will be reached when some compromise is needed all the time design is a compromise designer should decide what are the most important features that should be retained or highlighted to make sure that the product performs the desired function. Optimization of space layout or cost is what it is all about. So, obviously, something which is very costly people will not uh, what do you call it is not easy people will not afford it. Then the layout is more uh, technical in nature each antenna should not interfere with it and then where does the heat get dissipated and then in case it is a user uh, operated device how user unfriendly or how user friendly can it become. So, we have all this stuff thermal EMI any time you do anything leads to aesthetics. So, coming back again to my small power supply why I am showing it again and again is all the elements seem to be taken care of well in this. Actually there are only two heat sinks here no small heat sinks are there these really do not uh, we do not know very well except that uh, this thing they have been kept very neatly in line with the blow of the fan seen that no quite in line with it slightly it is offset. So, it may be logical to have these openings only where the heat sink is there, but you have seen here they have been made somewhat symmetrical the amount of space left here is amount of space left here and amount of space left here is about the same you have seen this no distance from the left edge to the first slot distance from the bottom to the uh, from the bottom of the device to the bottom of the slot distance from the right edge to the slot have all been made equal. Why not centralize it? We cannot centralize it because we have this uh, beauty of a wire harness that is coming here. So, to accommodate this wire harness they had to make this slot because you put the PCB inside and push all these things and then once you have this beautiful system this has to now go inside and it should sit in some place such that uh, it, it works you have seen this no it goes inside top is flush bottom is here and then now if you see the amount of space has been optimized. So, it is a matter of thing you know whether why cannot we take these uh, what you call slots a little higher. So, somebody obviously has done a bit of a calculation the total amount of area that you have in the annular space here outside and then inside is probably approximately equal to the amount of openings that are here that will ensure that 
air is not obstructed while I have simplified or I would call I have done it in a very <laughs> obviously oversimplified the thing <coughs> it works finally we have power supplies which work usability manufacturing experts in the field. So, if you are to build a house, house is a very personal thing even if you are to build an office you will obviously ask uh, how many number of people are there and then you take a decision and you go to an architect. An architect is the man who designs various things so what in your office. While we see the facade and we are impressed by buildings by the facade internal layout and the way the spaces relate to each other are very important. Now, as it is getting populated by regular people who work there, you will notice that uh, people psychologically they need certain uh, space, uh, they need place and then the moment people are there they require various things related with people. So, they are always experts in every field. So, if you go to the furniture people know we have open plan office uh, experts what all you can think of already somebody has already faced the problem. So, they can uh, tell you saying sir uh, standard table normally we expect it to be about 20 inches depth front to back 24 is required in your case in some cases one side we can make it uh, probably 28 other side we can make it only 18 and then we have various devices which are there. So, these experts I have given an illustrative example because uh, eventually you end up with this you know having to sit down to work. For every field especially related to EMI and this thermal and so on there are expert who face the same problem and try to solve it. Next slide is now going to talk about it saying <laughs> after due consideration one of the alternatives should be worked upon in detail. I have just said freeze the alternative as a good solution. Start working on all the other features. Does the product look and feel as per the original concept? You have seen here no this is where we had a beautiful what do you call top down approach. But then after you finish everything it is no longer top down again you know something has gone off at a tangent. So, do we leave them in the that uh, tangential uh, thing or uh, we try to now work back saying make a best fit attempt again keep working backwards and then have another go because you have not lost anything. So, traditionally what people have been doing is they take a graph sheet cut uh, various you know things to the layout size and then place them inside. So, that you can move them easily and you have seen this you now after this then you should attempt to make your freeze your uh, wiring uh, board does it look bulky we have a big issue about the looks does it look unbalanced this is where no people are trying to correct various options possibly. So, if you are to see any of these uh, you know bulky equipment you probably see top two thirds of it as one color which is a brighter color and the bottom one third of it is as a lighter color um, sorry darker color that itself splits the whole space and then makes these things look sleek. So, if you have this things look better again I will take you routine examples. There is a gentle curve here though probably the maximum amount of space is taken here towards the sides they have reduced it a little probably that was to accommodate this display and the bezel that is accommodated all around it. You need this for protection you also need it for proper visibility of it unless you do not have it I am sorry unless you have it you will not be able to read whatever is written here. And you have seen here a very interesting detail of a step has been provided here this step will make sure that this does not look uh, unsightly and all it groups all the necessary functions together same thing has been done here. And a very interesting or unavoidable thing is the shut lines. When you take two halves and try to close them together, they do not automatically shut, uh, there is always a gap. And the human eye and related to that our brain is able to judge the, these gaps as a relative effect. 
So, on one side if you were to have say 0 0.5 mm gap another side you have a 1 mm gap it will not be treated as a poor quality. But imagine on one side we close it 0 0.5 has been made to 0 other side you see a 0 0.5 it looks like a bad manufacturer manufacturing detail. It happens in the case of your cars when you get a car and put it all the panels fit perfectly as slowly it takes a little bit of a bump here and a shake there and all that first thing that suffers is this thing do not close properly the shut lines lead to a big problem. <coughs> so, here people uh, designers over the years know have been using various tricks one of them is if you cannot hide something highlight it which has happened with our buttons which has happened with our uh, maybe our watches it has happened with these buckles. Now, when you wear a, a waist belt the buckle you know seems to have more of a function than the actual thing holding back because that, that one seems to convey your uh, intent. This is where actually I started with slight make a full assembly drawing you have seen it no assembly drawing talks about putting all these parts together. Now, the first time now I am using the word I have changed from a sketch to a drawing. A drawing is done perfectly to scale. If there is a transformer which measures uh, say 70 mm and uh, one side it measures uh, 60 mm and the uh, stack up the actual stack is only 30 mm and you have the bobbin and so on all these details need to be represented. Traditionally before the advent of all this 3D and all I mean the what you call uh, tools meant for design and drafting people are doing by, by hand. So, they had a good feel about all these things and then as I have told you earlier they go collect all the sub assemblies and keep it ready for themselves then only they are able to proceed. Right now since it is a 3D world which is a virtual world every manufacturer and vendor makes his final product in the form of a DXF file drawing interchange format files are available you can take them and then you can insert it in your programs. Ah, we have got a fantastic thing all the people who are interested in the project now need to join together make the, the outline of the PCB. Remember all the PCB hardware where to clamp it down screw down connectors all the details are on hand only then when you make it you will never need to work on it again or have some wires which come in the middle of the PCB. Extract and take the outline to the EDA tool ok. So, we have DXF, DXE, IGS and uh, what you call dot DWG formats are available and are accepted by most of the EDA tools. So, after having an idea of the product you get now you get the actual outline of the uh, the device we want to interconnect to make the printed wiring board. So, we take all these things and then import them into the EDA tools you understood no outline to the EDA tools as EDA tools now can make the layout of your equipment make the PCB layout if there is any change in the overall size do it now do not what do you call uh, do not feel shy saying I am not able to accommodate uh, we keep telling all our designers now add a little extra space first round when you are getting ready add a little extra space a 10 millimeter does not make too much of difference at least in two places only the critical thing let us say one of the height or one of the width you stick to the main thing because we do not know how things will eventually end up with what more new things have to be added. After having made the assembly drawing you remember no I said we make an assembly drawing this assembly drawing takes care of putting all the things together. In the case of mechanical it was easy so it was a it was a called a I think part network or uh, nomenclature network there is a sheet a 4 sheet which will list all the things item 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, in the case of our software we have a beautiful software structure diagram. Now, when working with both these parts uh, we have made several attempts to see 
whether we can make them modular. The advantage of a structure diagram we know how the parts are all connected with each other and you can always connect them up and down start exciting part drawings from your original assembly drawing this is the critical point of it. Now, if you see the new mechanical tools. So, when you see the new mechanical tools when we make an assembly I will give you an example of an outside casing which has a step and which has a bearing inserted inside and inside the bearing we have a shaft. So, we have shaft we have a, a ball bearing and, uh, and outside we have the housing all of them can be tied up means you can make a relation between the inside of the shaft to the I am sorry outside of the shaft to the inside of the bearing. Similarly, on the outside of the bearing to the inside of the housing we can make a relationship. If any interference is there or relationship is there now the program will automatically show you and this bearings and all you can collect them select them from a, a table which is available. One a simple example I can tell you is we have 6 millimeter shafts which is typically which is probably derived from the quarter inch shafts. So, we have a quarter inch which is 6.35 then we have a 6 mm. So, everything including various types of fasteners everything both systems are available we have the inch variants then we also have the metric variants. So, it is with all the mechanical hardware it is with all the grommets that we have here which is probably <coughs> also valid for these things like this pens where you hold and where all you have these openings and all each one of these parts follow certain standards. So, if you look at my PPT again we can extract all the part drawings from your original assembly drawing. So, if I have a grommet and then uh, inside the grommet I have a a small you know amount of opening the more wires are there or anything if I go to the grommet catalog they will give you an indication of how many wires it can hold. And then outside we have various proportions of these things saying how do you attach it one to the other how do you take it if we were to relate them in a assembly drawing now I can use a bigger grommet or I can relocate the grommet to a corner instead of this place I can keep on after the final product is put together it will have to work with minimum interventions you understood no. In the final design the parts will have to be assembled in a sequential manner each sub assembly will be tested and snapped together snap meaning attached together after the final project is put together it will have to work with minimum intervention saying further once you put everything in place you should not be forced to work more and more with these things. Now, start the fabrication point in the mean uh, fabrication we mean uh, two things one is we ourselves do it that is I go to the my home workshop or my lab uh, place or I deal with a vendor who is familiar with this thing eventually he will help us make all these things as you fabricate you will notice that what we thought was a very easy thing a sequence of steps may or may not work. So, if I were to show you back the, the chassis for this uh, for this power supply is a sequence possible <laughs> looks easy there is a small joggling here one thickness joggling here can probably make the joggle afterwards you can bend all these parts. Now, <coughs> can we do that with the same thing here either way seem to end up with problem if we bend this first we may not be able to reach inside and bend that. If we bend that first we may not be able to bend this. So, some special tools and sequence they have to operate having made this we end up may end up with uh, not very pleasant corners. So, this is where the changes we are talking about it may lead to small changes one of the details is saying how thick or how smaller a particular limb needs to be. Very rarely even experienced design engineers 
get everything right in the first time. Only thing is their experience has taught them how to get over the problems by small changes, make changes, okay. Everything most important reflect all the changes into the original drawings as per the corrections carried out. Keep documentation updated. If you do not keep documentation updated, it will come and uh, what do you call haunt you all its life. If you do any adjustments in the field and uh, refuse to or ignore to uh, continue with the updating the documents, every time an equipment comes the local person knows oh these idiots again you know have put the opening in the wrong place. Now, I need to drill one more hole. So, it is not very good he is calling an idiot and you calling him back what he is supposed to be. So, the thing is if they are all reflected into the original drawings next round when they get made they are near perfect absolutely perfect you have no issues about it. That is the reason even if you were to have a, a bulb socket it fits every time is it not a bulb fits in the socket it, there is never any issue. Only thing is sometimes that bulb may poke out a little sometimes you need an adapter, but we know that the basic thing over maybe 50, 60 years a bayonet mount uh, has been standardized similarly a screw mount. So, we have 15 mm screw we have 22 we have 25, 24 all of them have been standardized. Now, how many threads how deep and is there a taper all that no varies a little with the uh, this thing. And then if you look at it as the corrections are over the idea is to ensure that the production pieces will be perfect. Perfect means everything fits the other. So, if any of you have time or if you have interest I suggest you go to the internet and looks for what are called fits and tolerances. This is a little mechanical related subject, but all of you in any field you will know about it saying if you have one stage which is giving an output and then it has to interact with another stage how do you make this interaction. In the case of our mechanical engineering we call it uh, fits and tolerance how weight two things attach it each together and then what is the tolerance of these objects. The idea is to ensure that production pieces are perfect and any one thing matches with the other. Make a trial assembly of all the parts which we have fabricated. So, we take all these parts put them together see if it works well. Do all the mechanical parts fit together how are they held can normal manufacturing tolerances ensure interchangeability saying I take any cover and then I take any of the um, chassis similarly I take any of the connector everything should go under all conditions. While uh, time and energy and uh, full control is there for us on the field on the in the assembly line with us when it goes into the field a small variation of is likely to cause a lot of downstream unnecessary activities. Next question now we come to after having fitted everything remove the all the parts disassemble the enclosure putting all the assembling in place you have seen that no still it is only a dummy in place it is just all the box with uh, the enclosure with all the fasteners and all that. Now, wire up the whole equipment power it up try the electrical functions usually in the case open condition. Though we have made the whole thing with a big cover which gives you a lot of protection it is imperative that when we do the work of uh, initial testing and all that usually they keep it in the open condition and test. And then of course, they are all trained as such they will not put their uh, fingers inside. Try the electrical functions in the case of development usually extender cables are needed to tune all the sub assemblies. So, when you are still in the double uh, development mode if you put the PCB inside you cannot access the thing. So, it is generally mounted with the extender cable. Now, the PCB is to be plugged into a slot in between you have an extra cable. Usually PCB will have the plug components and the other side will have the socket components. One more connector which has a you know plug and socket thing you plug it here keep it outside where you access it with the various other things. Load all the necessary software as and when needed. Emulators need to be plugged in. So, in the case of these uh, various uh, sub assemblies they all work with programmable devices 
and for a programmable device it may behave slightly different from when it is on the table. So, once when it goes into the, the intended enclosure you need to still measure things because this phone does not have, but originally even all the mobile phones there used to be a small cap if you keep open the cap there used to be a small RF connector from where you can take the signal out and see how well what is the level of the signal that comes to be done. After thorough testing attempt to unplug all the development paraphernalia and close the covers. The unit works good luck remember like all other things you know it only happens occasionally troubleshoot if there is some failure you may need to add or remove things I have no clue what it is everything is a single incidence. So, this is only about the development this is not about the actual manufacture, but mind you you are using manufacturing tools you are using everything and then in case you have a what do you call mixed mold analysis software you can use it. After successful demonstration one must disassemble all the sub assemblies and do the finishing. We have a cover in which you know we have placed openings we have put extra holes everything. So, we need to specially you know do all the marking and then after that you know you need to usually <coughs> you make the outside decal and printing uh, what you call arrangements what all you need even if you see here in this case we have a Sennheiser logo. This could easily be this can easily be made using a rapid prototyping setup we just need to add the Sennheiser logo on it it happens with all the products ok and at the back you know we have statutory things and then we have a small uh, panel here which is added to this mind you these are production things, but if you were to make a master and uh, make all these things the same thing can be made at home made in a normal printer and then you stick it here you can make it as good as new once it is convincing you can now pass on this product downstream not for manufacture, but for testing what is called you know initially beta testers will be there they will they will cooperate with you and see is it useful how to cut out all the hype that I have generated and passed it on to him they will look at it and say sir while all you say is correct this does not solve my problem I cannot explain why it is. So, I have a focus group on which they try it otherwise you will not be buying so many things which you continue to use now not longer or 30 years back we had a phone with uh, keys we do not have it anymore and suddenly the shape has nothing to do with the uh, this thing at all it is just a flat plate whatever you do not want technology has taken over what are otherwise aesthetics being played upon nobody is worried anymore whether you have a display or not this itself is the monitor for you to watch a video and it goes on like that non-stop. So, you disassemble all the parts which I was telling you some of the parts may need marking by screen printing after the final painting is over graphic overlay sheets are added to the front panels. So, this whole lecture was intended only as a disassemble the final mechanical and assemble with the electronic parts if you have followed all the precautions it should work it does not happen if it does not one can trace back where the errors could have kept in and repair the same. There you have pulled out a new product from the hat or another feather in your cap any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic I think you know who he is. So, I will stop here thank you for your patience I suggest you go back and then try to collect a bit of hardware bit of uh, components for your proposed project. So, I have shown you that reading lamp I have shown you an interesting thing a timer with uh, a pointer like this. So, maybe why not have an app why not have a stand why not have something where uh, you do all these things on your phone and then if you bring it close together it should the timer should stop if I take it back it should start doing I, I do not think it is impossible you can always make a proximity thing or you can tap it and then make something take a signal from there 
So get ready. Thank you.